Okay, so Jess Bailey, we've got you here just before the World Cross tomorrow. How are you looking forward to it? Got a few nerves jangling through your body yet? Not yet. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. I don't really know what I've got myself into, but I'm pretty excited. And we've been at the course this afternoon. And I mean, I'm a mountain runner. It's not a mountain runner's course, but I mean, there's so many different obstacles. I think it's going to be pretty exciting. And it's definitely going to be not like anything I've ever raced before, really. I've, uh, I've had a bit, bit of a walk around the course myself. It's very flat, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's a few, a few man-made <laughs> hills in there, but it's, it's, as you say, as a mountain runner, it must have been yeah. not exactly what you were looking I'd, forward to. Yeah, I'd, I'd like a few more hills, but it's, you know, it's practically a track race, really, and I think it'll be very different compared to like, the likes of the British cross-country and the Europeans. So it's, it's nice to kind of change it up, but it probably won't suit my strengths necessarily. So tell us a bit about your history and how you got into running because you, you mix up cross country, mountain running, yeah. you've done really well there. You're from Cumbria yes. as well, the, the, land of, <laughs> the land of mountain running or fell running yeah. in the UK. So how, how did you get into it all? Um, I got into kind of through school, went to the cross country and then from there because we were in Cumbria, our local club, they did all the fell races and they did the cross country. So you just end up kind of tagging on to that. And I didn't really, I didn't start track running until after COVID when I was a bit older, just because that's not what we did so much in our area. Um, but I just quite enjoy running in general. And Whether the, it's flat or hills or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Just, uh, and they've each got something kind of different about them. Like mountains quite extreme um, and the tracks kind of very time-based. Like I like the idea of like you've got your own time and you want to try and yeah. better it. So there's definitely kind of perks to each of them, which I quite enjoy. How do you see your progression going now then? Because... I mean, the, will there be a point where you choose between track and off-road stuff and mountain and, and cross-country? And... Yeah, so I've not really, I've not done a mountain race in like over a year now. And I'm, the problem with mountains is it's, it peaks at the same time as track season, so yeah. you can't do them both. So for a while, we're kind of going to lay off them, focus on kind of the track and the cross-country. But it's something I definitely want to come back to when I'm older, and it's pretty good winter training if you can find some races, but there's just not as many. Are you still in Cumbria at the moment? Yes, I am, yeah. I'm doing my last year A-levels and then... Oh, OK. So you're still, still doing A-levels? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I don't like them very much. <laughs> Where, whereabouts do you live in Cumbria? Are you literally at the foot of, of uh, the big mountains and hills there? or are you? It's not far. I'm in South Cumbria. I'm technically not in the lakes, but only about 10 oh, okay. minutes. We're pretty close, like 10 minutes from Windermere. You, could, you can get oh, okay. to the, You can't do a flat so easy run. So you're in a relatively flat part of Cumbria, but it's not... It's not flat, it's always... There's no... The, I'm not right... I'm not on the side of a mountain, but there's hills <laughs> everywhere, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, OK. And how are, you do, how are you doing with your A-levels? Are you open to go to a uni in the UK? Or, yeah, or... I'm hopefully staying UK-based, and they're going OK. I think we've got about two months of exams, so I'm starting to feel it a little bit. But I'm kind of looking forward to getting it over with and having a great summer, hopefully. I'm just thinking about, about it. There must be... I mean, you can't be the only one in the GB junior team here this no. weekend who's got A-levels coming up. So have you, have you all brought your, your books out? Or? <laughs> I've been doing biology this morning, actually. And I was pretty... Really? Un yeah, genuinely. It's pretty unproductive that I kept getting distracted, <laughs> believe it or not. But yeah, no, I think um, Eliza's a bit younger. Innes is also doing her A-levels and Natasha's at uni. But um, we've all got a lot on, oh, Okay, to be so Natasha's at, at uni already. Yeah, revising, but I don't really know how it And Eliza's a little bit younger, so yeah, she's... Yeah, year 12. Yeah, so. oh, okay. But okay. we've all got mocks, and they, they, they've, they've got mocks coming up, so we're all a bit, a bit busy at the moment. Pa packing school. the books in. Yeah, yeah pretty much. But you're obviously, obviously going to be running focused for tomorrow. What's your, what's your goals? It's obviously... I mean, people call it the toughest race in yeah, the world with, with all the East Africans in the race, and with it being a, a, flat, a flat course, it's going to be... Super yeah. fast, people yeah. are expecting. What's your what's your strategy and what, what are you hoping well, for? Well, I, I know I couldn't give you a number because I just have no idea. I mean, not last to be good, but no. Um, <laughs> in like, so I want to like run and think that I couldn't have done any more and that I kind of paced it right because I think a lot of people go off too hard. And if I can come away going like, I just couldn't have done better, like like reflecting on it, yeah. that's kind of my goal because go, like going into it, I just have no idea what's going to happen and what to expect. A bit of a step into the unknown. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm just going to run hard and see what happens yeah. But, yeah all the all the girls in your team as well you're all you're all rivals yeah. when you well, race in the uk but, but you, you friends as well friends at, at, yeah, at an think, event like this i think we've got a strong team and i think maybe we could like challenge kind of some of the other kind of similar nations and just see what we can do and i think yeah it should be pretty strong so if we all have a good race yeah it'll be a good day excellent well, good luck tomorrow thank you